Okay. Um, hi, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so welcome to this session of the ACCA Principles Guidance for the June 2023 examination. Uh, my name is Lukman Rafiq, and uh, I'm the principal here at Scriber Academy. I shall be moderating the session, uh, and I shall be taking you people through. Before I proceed, uh, let me just uh, guide you people a bit that what is actually going to be our uh, agenda for the session of today. Uh, we have got in here uh, our faculty members for the different subjects, starting from uh, the performance management up till the AAA. So we've got all the faculty members here uh, and they are also going to be uh, guiding you, assisting you, answering to your queries. Uh, what I would like to uh, suggest you people is that just in case if you have got any queries or anything, uh, you can just type it out in the chat window, or maybe you could just write it down with yourselves. And what we are going to do is that we're going to allow each one of you uh, to ask the questions, whatever questions that you have, and you could just get answer to them, uh, a personalized answer for each one of the questions that you have. So let me just start off. Uh, the first of all, I'm just going to discuss the agenda for the session of today. Uh, the agenda for the session of today is that uh, we're just going to give you a brief overview about us, the Scriber Academy. Uh, plus, you would have uh, all of the faculty members. So you will have uh, uh, a bit, uh, you will be hearing a bit from the faculty members initially. And later on, when the question and answer session comes in, uh, you would be getting your answers from our faculty members again. Uh, plus, in addition to this, we will be discussing about the June 2023 past dates, plus whatever question answers you have and the special discounts and offerings that we have, which we are going to be sharing with you people. So first of all, let me just start off about the Scriber Academy. So we have been in existence since 2011. And uh, from 2011, we have been operating physically in Pakistan. Uh, we have had campuses in different cities, including Karachi, Sakhar, and uh, Rawalpindi, Islamabad. So we have been operating physically, but uh, post-COVID, we actually changed our strategy, and we are now operating solely online. And uh, we uh, have been, uh, we have been basically, we have shifted our entire operations to the online education. And over a period of time, gradually, we have been continuously investing in the technology, technology upgradation. So that's what we have been uh, doing. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, we have uh, taught more than 2,500 students for the past two years uh, for different papers of ACCA. And, uh, and uh, our students have achieved uh, nationwide and uh, nationwide and global position over the past 10, 12 years on multiple, on several occasions in different subjects. So that's that's what uh, one of uh, our background is, and before uh, before I actually uh, before I take up too much of time, I would like to go ahead and uh, have our faculty member introduce themselves and talk about themselves. Uh, so uh, I've got the list of our faculty member in front of us. Uh, unfortunately, one or two of the faculty members have not been able to join because of some commitments. But anyhow, those who are here. We're just gonna uh, take you people through and we will have uh, those faculty members talk to you. So the first name is uh, about myself, Lukman Rafiq. I'll come back to myself later on, but I would initially want to invite Mr. Hussain Kazi. Uh, Sir Hussain Kazi, if you could like, uh, if you could actually talk to the students and you could uh, give a brief introduction about yourself, sir, please. Uh, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Hello to everyone, I'm Hussain Kazi. Faculty member for the subject financial management, strategic business reporting, and advanced financial management. And um, I'm, I'm a part of the Scriber Academy as well. Um, with this particular agenda, you can uh, ask any particular question about these specific subjects that's FM, SBR, or AFM. Um, the passing rate and all these things we will discuss over the uh, time period. Um, but right now, about my introduction, I'm a fellow member of um, Charter Certified Accountancy, FCCA, and I've also been engaged with the teaching of these multiple subjects since more than one and a half decade and also associated with um, a professional accountancy firm that HRS Network 
and performing as uh, or serving as director for the business development. So that's a quick brief from my side. You can ask me anything about these particular subjects. Over to you, Rahman sir. Sir, thank you very much, Hussain uh, sir. Thank you very much. Hussain uh, Bai has been very humble, has not uh, introduced himself fully. He has, mashallah, been one of the legendary tutors and have taught uh, thousands of students uh, over the last uh, 15, 17 years. He has also been teaching at different universities, different management programs. In addition to this, he has been one of the top-ranked ACCA tutors, having conducted uh, the global webinars for ACCA on several occasions uh, for the subjects AFM, SBR, and financial management. And frankly, I have been learning a lot from him, and uh, I always admire him for the uh, excessive efforts and for the uh, for the work that he actually inputs uh, for every subject that he teaches. So he has been very yeah, humble. Yeah, thank thank you very much, Sukman. Thank you very much, Sukman, for these kind words. Thank you very much. Thanks, you are most appreciated. And next, we have got. I mean, like I'm very happy to introduce uh, Monish Shafi, who is also part of our faculty now. Uh, and uh, I mean, like um, uh, I would invite Munir to actually introduce himself. Munir is a fellow member of uh, the Institute of Chartered Accountant of Pakistan plus uh, the ACCA. Uh, and the rest uh, introduction Munir would give him on his own. Munir, uh, please over to you. Uh, sir, am I clearly audible? Very clear. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Uh, very warm greetings of the day. Uh, well, my name is Munir Mohammed Shafi, uh, and I am the facilitator for the subject of Advanced Audit and Assurance at Scriber Academy. Uh, I'm a fellow member of Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, and also a fellow member of ACCA, uh, and I have been teaching these subjects since last more than five years. Uh, well, first of all, many, many congratulations to all the successful students all the pass outs and affiliates from my end and from, from, from Scriber Academy. May you all carry on your successful journey in the same fashion for the rest of your life. Uh, those who couldn't make it today, I know uh, that words might not be enough to heal your feelings, but remember my words that you are a wounded lion. You have to roar back in style. Next attempt will, inshallah, be your definite success. And we all faculty members are here to guide you. Speak your heart out. Ask your questions. We will guide you about the subjects. We will guide you about the difficulty level, preparation strategies, how to utilize the most of the remaining days. And this will help you out a lot. But don't hold yourself back. Discuss your problems. Discuss your queries. And we'll be very much happy to guide you out in this session. Thank you very much, thank Monir. You. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'm sure that uh, you have actually uh, broken the ice. You have actually motivated the students a lot. Inshallah, they would come up with a lot of queries. And uh, one thing that I would like to say, I mean, I might forget later on. Uh, I spoke to Monir the other day. He said that uh, I would be conducting the whole AAA session live during this uh, attempt. I was like, um, the students, number of students, they don't always consistently come up uh, in the live classes. So he was of the viewpoint uh, that even if uh, uh, if the student keeps on, I mean, like uh, they keep on skipping the class, but I believe that I want a live interaction with the students. So I would just keep it giving my input. So Manir, hats off to you for the efforts, for things that you actually input. I'm sure that uh, the students would benefit a lot uh, uh, while uh, studying with you. Uh, thank, thank you, you Mani. We'll come thank back you, to you again, inshallah. Uh, okay, uh, next we have got uh, Kambar uh, Radha. Uh, Kashif, uh, so Kashif Kamran is not available today for the session. Uh, it would have been great to have him here, but anyways, uh, uh, inshallah, we will uh, uh, we will have some other forum to get you connected to him. Uh, Kambar Radha, sir. Kambar, how are you, sir? Uh, may, please, if you could just have a brief introduction about yourself. For sure. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I welcome you all on this platform for this post-exam result session. So uh, my name is Kambar Raza. I've been teaching TX and ATX for like more than a decade. And uh, uh, that's it. So I've been taught like more than 20, 25 sessions of ATX till yet. And uh, for TX, I, I don't even recall how many sessions we have conducted. 
so alhamdulillah a good result since bonding of that tx and atx uh, of the scriber academy alhamdulillah i'm very glad to hear the results uh, plus further regarding your queries we will take up to, uh, during the session so i like to pause over here so thank you very much uh, kumbar did not add up kumbar is working with a, a multinational bank in a very leading role and uh, <clears throat> adds a lot to the students uh, when he is actually conducting his lectures and uh, he's in a very senior position very key position and uh, i do understand that uh, since the introduction of the professional marks at the atx level uh, kumbar would surely be able to contribute a lot uh, towards uh, how the professional marks could be gained because he is one of those persons who is presenting to the board on many occasions uh, so uh, the faculty has been humble they have not been introducing uh, uh, their <laughs> they have not been introducing they have not been show, show showcasing their uh, uh, the positions anyways we will come back to that <laughs> okay next we have got uh, zia zia rana uh he along i mean like a very dedicated tutor um uh, he's going to introduce himself and uh, we're going to take things forward from there zia saab if you could unmute please assalamu alaikum everyone hopefully all of you are doing well and uh, my name is zia rana and uh, i'm the tutor for financial reporting taxation and the advanced taxation in fact uh, sir kumbar and myself uh, we both teach the same papers and uh, we we like uh, we plan in a structured manner and deliver the lectures and try to deliver the lectures in a in a predetermined manner so the students can easily get our lectures and and can is understand easily uh, uh mr lukman one of the students is asking with respect to fr classes so let me respond fr classes yes available in english language don't worry we have fr course whole course recorded in in english language and uh, uh, with respect to my working experience uh, i worked like uh, for to 5 years at kpmg's taxation department and i'm in teaching profession uh, since last 9 years and my core teaching areas are, as i told you financial reporting and the taxation thank you thank you zia thank you for your input thank you very much uh, so another very dedicated faculty member and uh, humongous amount of experience especially pertaining to the taxation areas <clears throat> we have got uh, one of our faculty members abil ahmed uh i mean a, a legend in himself uh but a seasoned professional so abil bhai if you could just have a bit of a communication with the students please yeah assalamu alaikum to everyone first of all am i audible to everyone very clear very clear okay that's great uh i am myself abil ahmed and when it comes to my teaching experience i think uh, i am older than everyone when it comes to teaching experience <laughs> having teaching experience mashallah more than two decades uh so i don't know when i started i started very early <laughs> uh when it comes to specialty so uh, right now at scriber i'm involved in two papers one is pm and another is fr and alhamdulillah we have produced an excellent result in these two papers and rest of the papers as well so simply that's it from my side abil bhai thank you very much again uh, another humble person a down to earth person uh he's not show he's not showing off uh, what he has actually achieved so i could remember the days uh, back in 2006 uh, uh, in fact 2007 uh, where uh, uh, you 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 just cannot get a place in abil's uh, class um, i mean like those were the days and he has been uh, he has been actually ruling the market uh, since that time but obviously over the period of time the things have turned into a uh, into a online uh, platforms obviously the physical audiences have dispersed into the online uh, platforms so abil uh, bhai used to only teach in karachi but now is teaching globally mashallah so an amazing personality an amazing tutor a uh, very dedicated and uh, uh, i mean like um, uh, he has been known for i mean like in our pakistan he has been uh, known for baba he's known as baba who's baba is somebody who is actually very superior somebody who has got excessive command so abil bhai uh, glad to have you here on board and uh, a uh, very happy to have you on board uh so i mean like uh, that's that was uh, about the faculty members the introduction of the faculty members and uh, what i would actually like to move forward is that uh, about myself uh, so um, a bit of my background like i have been in teaching profession for almost uh, 14 years now and have been uh, teaching different qualifications uh, including the acca icaw 
and uh, CIMA and the ICAP qualification, which is the Pakistani qualification. Uh, plus I have taught multiple courses, reporting, auditing, uh, the financial management, um, the performance management, these courses. In addition to this, I've conducted the global webinars for ACCA on several occasions uh, for the subjects AFM, uh, APM, and uh, for a few occasions on AAA also. Um, so I mean like that's what a bit of my background is. And um, for the last seven years, eight years, I've been in a full-time teaching role. Before that, uh, I had been a part-time tutor and a part-time practicing consultant. So that's what a big, bit of my background is. Uh, I'll move forward and uh, I will take things further. So next uh, that we have is that uh, we have got the pass rates for the different subjects. And I think uh, that it's, it's very important to have a bit of a discussion about the pass rates. Because you see, um, the pass rates, uh, we, we have the pass rate for the last four attempts. We have not taken out the pass rates for the previous attempts because I think that uh, the last four attempts are very relevant. And uh, I, I would specifically like to have a discussion with Abil Bhai for the performance management, the PM pass rate. If you could see that it's within the 40, 40 bracket uh, so, I mean, like, uh, sir, if you could just have a bit of a uh, conversation about what is specific reasons are there for this pass rates of uh, the students for these courses. Uh, actually, uh, my input is normally when the student, uh, they give basic costing paper and after that, if they directly go for PM, uh, there is a really big jump. The gap is really big. So students, they have to give the proper time to all the lectures and they need to practice. Uh, normally, I would say, I would say immaturity, you can say the student, they're coming from the basic paper and going towards directly to PM and not giving the appropriate time which is required for the PM. That is why uh, the result is not moving in 50s. Otherwise, uh, to be very honest, if the student watches all the lectures and does whatever we uh, normally pr provide guidance to our students, then passing this paper, now it has become more easier. Uh, but the result is showing something different. Okay, so what, what are the core things that you think that a student should actually focus upon if he she has to pass this paper? It's very simple. One, to attend, take all the classes, listen each and every lecture, make notes, and after that, the guidance which we provide. Three steps. That's more than enough to pass the paper. Seriously. Okay, how about, sir, the theoretical aspects of the paper? We got a lot of the students they struggle on the area of uh, the performance management. So would like to know that, uh, what do you recommend for the performance management area? Yes, uh, uh, section C question. It's two things. One, again, you have to listen to the lectures. And second, you sometimes you need to read the answer of the theoretical part from the past papers. Because if you read it, so what happens, one, you have listened to the teacher while delivering that lecture, Plus, if you read that, so what happens automatically, you will be having a more knowledge relating to that specific area. So student normally, what do they do? They sometimes they just listen to the teacher. When the teacher says, please, after completing this lecture, you need to read the answer at least two to three times. When you're not reading the answer, then the problem comes. So when the teacher is saying you need to read, then you have to read it. Sir, thank you very much for your valuable input. Next, I'll move on to Sir Muni Shafi. Uh, Muni, uh, as you could see, that the AAA pass rates, they've not even touched 35%. Uh, so would you like to give any inputs onto this? And if would you like to suggest a student anything about AAA? Uh, well, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, if I shed some light on AAA paper, uh, I always say that this is amongst the core bread and butter paper of ACCA qualification and profession. This subject is the finest blend of mature and professional drafting skills, plus your IFRS knowledge, and plus your auditing standards knowledge. The examiner usually tests the metal out of the students in this paper and doesn't spare anything. The only way to pass this paper is thorough conceptual understanding of the syllabus along with the maximum practice, which I think holds good for every profession paper. Passing ratio well always ranges from 31 to 34 percent, which is amongst the worst ratios. And I already said this that it is one of the most technical papers. 
students usually lack on drafting techniques and time management. Drafting technique is very, very crucial when it comes to AAA because there is a specific drafting technique for every sort of question, be it audit risk question, be it audit opinion questions, be it quality management questions. It is not that like a layman, we can just go on attempting a question. No, there is a proper, there, there should be a proper answer plan. There is a separate technique. There is a separate marking scheme and we have to follow it rigorously. We have to practice it rigorously. And although after the introduction of professional marks, passing ratio was expected to increase because earlier the students had to write for, for 96 technical marks. And now the students are only required to write for 80 technical marks because 20 are professional marks. So earlier the students used to complain about time management. But now this is this shouldn't be the case. Because professional marks, if a student is practicing, if a student is practicing religiously, if a student is following tutor's guideline, then professional mark is not something that you need to prepare separately, that you need to learn separately. Because if you are practicing with the tutor, if you are practicing the exam technique, if you are applying the exam technique, the professional marks are already built in. These will already, these will automatically fall in your kitty. You don't have to do anything extra for this. You just have to follow the tutor's guideline. You just have to follow the instructions of the tutor, how to draft, what to consider, what to ignore, which points to shed more light, how to evaluate, how to explain, how to link it to the standard. And you don't have to write anything extra for these professional marks. Your language will automatically inculcate all the characteristics which are necessary to, uh, to, to fetch these 20 marks. So I would simply say that those passionate and hardworking students will pass who will practice their heart out. This paper is all about practice. This is all about drafting. And, and this is, I, I, I usually say this is the hallmark paper of ACC qualification. Examiner will not spare you because ACCA is an audit regulator, is an audit supervisory body. So how on earth you could be spared in this audit paper. So the worst passing ratio is reflective of this. Those students who prepare, who work hard, they definitely pass this paper out. But you have to be extra cautious in AAA paper. You can see that the passing ratio has not been improved. If you see the past trends from September 2022, because the professional marks were introduced from September 22, the passing ratios have not been improved that much. In fact, they are constant. Earlier, they were 31, 33. You can see 34 now, but that's not a drastic improve. The students have to work out. The students have to work hard. And this paper is very much doable and very much possible paper. So this is my take on this. Sir. Uh, thank you very much for this. Uh, another question before I move on to the next subject is that uh, what do you recommend to the students? Uh, I mean, like, how do you help the students improve their pass rates? When, when you so have students I, who are, are like those students who are uh, with you, how do you help them improve the past rate? Sir, uh, from my experience, because I have been teaching this paper since last uh, many years, uh, when I mark the mock exam of these students, uh, there was a student in one of the previous attempts who scored 73 marks. And he was the student who was not passed in the mock exam and ultimately scored 73 marks. How? Because when he attempted the mock exam and when he got the marked copy, he got to know his mistakes. This was my mistake. I was skipping this thing. I am not linking the standard as required. So when he got to know his mistakes, he overcome those mistakes. And then ultimately he scored a whopping 73 marks. So this is what students have to do. All the students who register for the course, unfortunately, only 15% or 20% of the students are those who attempt the mock examination. I myself mark the mock examination. I myself mark each and every line and word of the mock examination. So those who practice and even in the live classes, even in the live classes, I ask the students, I give assignments and I ask the students to show their screens. I read their answers. I give them the feedback. This is how you should write. This is how you should improve. And this is the most crucial part of their preparation. The feedback, because if someone is doing wrong, 
until and unless the tutor rectifies his mistakes, how he is on earth, he is going to let, let us know his mistakes. As an audit, as an audit, we we teach about self-review thread. If a student is doing a question and he's reviewing on his own, there's a self-review thread. There are very minimum chances of him identifying his own mistakes in the proper professional manner. So what I believe, practice, show it to the tutor, show your answers to the tutor, get your mark, get your mocks marked with the tutor, and this is the best way you can identify your mistakes. And in AAA, I have seen students, I have seen students, one of the student, one of the student, he attempted the mock exam. When I, when I reported in the copy, the marks were 35. He was not passing the mock exam. He got demotivated. So should I, should I go for this paper or should I hold it and should I attempt it in the next attempt? I said, no. Now you know your mistakes. You know that these are the mistakes. You have complete knowledge. You have complete concepts. You just have to fine tune it a bit. You just have to amend your approach a bit and you are good to go. And he attempted and he passed in that attempt. And there are several other examples. So attempt, practice the most out of your time, utilize your time in practicing this subject and at least show a few assignments to your tutor, attempt the mock in the live exam environment, exam type environment, time bounded environment. Don't do like this, Attempt, attempting one question, then attempting the second question on the second day, no. You have to attempt the exam in a time bound environment, three hours and 15 minutes by actually typing. Just don't read the question and read the answer. No, this is the worst thing you can do. You will have to actually attempt the mock in the time bound situation, get it marked from the tutor. This will help you a lot. And rest, I'll be guiding each and everything in the courses, in the classes. Uh, if you have any queries, if you have any questions, please do discuss. If you have been failing this paper for so long, discuss your problems. Discuss your problems. I'll be happy to guide you. I'll be happy to give individual attention to the students in Shanghai. Sir, thank you very much for your input. Uh, basically, the stats that I have actually got from ACCA, uh, the four optional papers, which is the AFM, APM, ATX, AAA, the highest number of students who sit the exam is AAA paper. And the second highest number of uh, examinations that the students sit is for the AFM. So I would actually follow that sequence and I would now move on to AFM. Um, so I would uh, ask Sarusan Kazi to comment a bit on the AFM that, uh, mashallah, we could see that the pass rates are increasing for the AFM. So what are the reasons? And still, if the students have to cross this 50% barrier for the pass rate, what are the things that the students should do? So, Sanbai, if you could actually shed some light on it. Uh, thank you, uh, Lukwanbai. Uh, noticeable point is that 47% result of AFM. Historical, very, 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 high, one of the, uh, it's shocking. Means any of the optional paper with that particular percentage result, it's very much shocking for us. That means students have uh, continuously improved their uh, situation since September 22, as referred by by that uh, professional skill marks introduced with AFM, APM, and AAA exams since September 22. And students are now performing over the period very well with respect to the AFM. Mm -hmm. So once again, the, what I personally think, much more potential with respect to AFM, that in future it may uh, be increased um, more than the 47%. So, some specific highlights about the AFM, some specific highlights. Uh, advanced financial management exam, first of all, the insight of the uh, examination paper, if you just jot down all the marks related to any recent exam question, out of 100 marks, 20 marks, okay, professional marks, and 80 technical marks. So as Munir Bhai said that, yes, it's all about to attempt how will you attempt your 80 technical marks? How will you be able to attempt 80 technical marks? So whenever you are attempting 80 technical marks with the qualitative aspect, that's called PSM. So that 20 marks automatically indulging with your um, 
exam structure or the uh, with respect to the uh, gaining the marks so for example with respect to the calculation student would normally do mistake uh, you know very well that Lukman Bhai, the time is very much limited with respect to the preparation now so normally for the student made mistake uh, first of all learn the things manually and then perform the things on system with the CB practice just two or three weeks ago. So what I personally think that's a total blunder. You should uh, prepare your studies on the system. In fact, ACC has introduced all the study material uh, with the education up. So you can study the uh, things on the system. You can, you must have to prepare your questions, attempt your questions, simulate, that means the practice your questions on the CV format and uh, try to learn the things incorporating all the spreadsheet functions as, mass, as max as possible. So whenever you are attempting the question and incorporating the uh, Excel functions or the spread, spreadsheet functions accordingly, you will be able not only to get the technical marks, but also the professional marks. So first thing, that's that's very much important to incorporate uh, the preparation that's must have to prepare the things on the system number two if you drill down the uh, any of the exam paper so you will highlight that almost 55 percent of the exam 55 to 60 percent of the exam it's about theory but if you ask any of the student that how much time you have invested for the total AFM preparation, let's say 100 hours. And the quest, second question is that, how much you have invested for theory? Lukman bhai, definitely your she will reply, maximum 20%. So how it's possible that your examination or your examiner particularly uh, examine the things with the 55 to 60% theory, but you invested just the time and you have least concern or the preparation of the theoretical aspect. So second point is that balance approach. So first point is uh, practice on the system. Number two, balance approach. Invest your time, 55 to 60% theoretical, 40 to 45% calculation. With respect to uh, preparation, with respect to practice, all these things. These two things are very much important. Rest of the things about whatever the guidelines provided by the teacher you uh, you are also the expert of the afm and in fact other teachers are abhil sahab also the expert of the afm as well so you know very well students actually facing the problem uh, or facing the challenges related to topic acquisition merger business reorganization and financial reconstruction so other than that advanced investment appraisal of forex or interest are such thing a very structured but the topic acquisition merger business reorganization financial reconstruction why you people are facing problem here because here the things are not much structure as compared to other topic so third is that if you face challenges with these particular areas as i mentioned that you have to invest your time very smartly not only the preparation but also the examination so these three things that you have to cover with the AFM, plus whatever the Munir Bhai said that uh, you have to obey the guidance or the advices by the teachers, practice the question with the exam condition that is simulation, mock and evaluation. It's a key point for any exam success of the ACC. So this is what about the AFM matter. From Sir, side. thank you very much for a very, very comprehensive overview. Now, the major aspect was uh, AFM, the reason the students, they fail is they skip the theoretical aspect. They just master themselves on the computational aspect. That's, that's, that's a very important thing that they should actually try to overcome. So thank you very much for your input. I'll just come back to you also, uh, because I know that you might actually have to leave a bit early. So I'll come back to you also before I could allow you <laughs> that. Uh, uh, so uh, next we have got the next uh, optional papers. That's an ATX paper. And uh, I mean, like uh, uh, this time around, AFM has outperformed ATX. 
but otherwise it has been ATX, yeah. which has been a blue-eyed boy for the people that they have been uh, looking for ATX as one of those papers that are the higher pass rates. So if we could have uh, Kamba Raza, uh, Kamba, if you could just uh, shed some light on ATX and uh, I mean, like what are the core areas, uh, what are the challenges that the students face and how to overcome? Uh, thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, once again. So regarding the ATX, uh, the June 23 attempt was like a very change attempt, I would say, for the uh, in the history of ACCA. Because for all other ACCA exams, uh, the professional 20 professional marks were introduced back in September 22. But uh, the June 23 was the first attempt for this uh, 20 professional marks. So previously, we have 96 technical you can say and I, I won't say 96 technical I would say 91 technical because there were four professional marks five marks on ethics like uh, which has nothing to do from the technical aspect of ATX and rest of 91 marks for this technical aspect of ATX but in, in, in the June 23 that was the first time ever where we have the uh, 25 non-technical marks, which is like 20 professional, five ethics related marks and 75 technical marks. So that was a very change attempt. Secondly, as uh, Sir Hussain Kazi identified, uh, one pointed out one thing, the, the theoretical aspect. So students lack the theoretical aspect, like uh, they can write the things, they can calculate the things in a flow. But if you ask anything in between in a theory form, they are like very much blank at times. So students are like, they can talk in a flow from start to end. But if you like, when, like, just to share with you, if I ask my daughter, like, uh, go through with the table of two or table of three, they start three ones are three, three twos are six, three threes are nine, and they end up at three tens are 30. But if I ask uh, three fives are, so this, she starts thinking like what will be three times five. So I personally feel like this is at times with the ACCA students, especially in the professional and considering the lengthiest syllabus of ATX, students at times missed the minor granular points if that is asked in between. That, that's the first issue. Second, uh, uh, normally the students face issue in the dealing with the computer-based. So at times students know what to write, but they lack how to write. So please, that's a request, do give a proper good emphasis on the professional marks, writing techniques, as in your paper is based on computer. So if you know the technical stuff, but you lack the typing speed, you lack the, uh, you should write the answer on Word or the spreadsheet, you will end up in losing the mark. So please be very well prepared. And if someone thinks about how would I learn the typing speed or how would I learn the spreadsheet? So my dear student, the only way to learn this thing is the practice. So apart from the practice, there is no other thing from which you can learn these things. So please do practice the questions on ECCA practice platform. There you can learn the ECCA spreadsheet plus such thing improve your typing speed as well. So, taking a pause for any questions, if any. Sir, thank you very much. We'll just come back to the questions again uh, in a while. Okay, next, uh, I would like to just draw some light. I mean, I would like to shed some light on the APM paper. You could see that uh, this paper has got uh, more or less similar pass rates as to AAA. And uh, myself, I've been teaching the APM for a uh, very long period now. Um, so uh, before we move on to any other subject, let me just guide you people a bit. A lot of the students, they ask that which option papers should we go for, whether AFM, APM, ATX, or AAA. So I've got one of the videos uh, which I have uh, prepared. Uh, and I mean, like I prepared that some time back, but it's very much relevant now. So we will make sure that we share that video to all of you uh, so that we save our time here with respect to which option papers to go for. But for the APM, let me just give you a bit of an idea that uh, who, who, who should opt for the APM paper. So uh, those of you uh, who have got good writing skills, who have got good communication skills, who can communicate their points well, 
uh, and uh, at the same time who don't like much of the numbers, APM is going to be made for you because APM is a very generic type of a paper and uh, APM requires a lot of thought process to go into because when it comes to AFM, you have got technical skills, you apply them. For ATX, you have got the technical skills, you apply them. For the AAA, you have got the reporting needs, you've got the reporting knowledge, you've got the auditing knowledge, you apply that. But for the APM, it's a very generic type of a paper. So if you are somebody who can think beyond the boundaries, who can actually uh, create solutions out of uh, different situations, then APM is meant for you. Uh, how to improve the pass rates, again, all of the points that have been discussed till now. Uh, the major point for APM is practice, 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 exam practice plus the feedback. So that's what something important is. Uh, with respect to whether we should go for APM or not, again, I'm saying I'll share one of the videos. So um, you can actually ask more questions with us as we progress. Um, so now next, I would like to have a bit of a, a discussion with one of our faculty members uh, on the paper FR. Uh, so Abil Bai is here. He also teaches FR. Uh, Abil, uh, if you could actually share with us that what are the key components of the FR paper, number one. Number two point is that um, uh, over a period of time, we could see that the consolidation question that used to come is now no more a guaranteed question. And plus the way of examination of consolidation has also changed a bit. So can you just please shed some light on this that uh, uh, what are the core areas and how to handle this consolidation tricky questions nowadays? Uh, thank you for asking sir, these questions. Uh, basically first thing, looking at the passing rate, it's more or less consistent. If the trend is same, then in coming attempt, it should be 52% uh, because that's what I was looking at the passing rate. So passing rates are more or less, I'm really happy as far as the passing rates are because approximately 50% or a little above 50 is really good passing rate. So it, it means the passing rates are showing us that still, even though the consolidation question is no more guaranteed, but the still passing rate is not bad at all. Now, what are the core areas in FR? To be very honest, if someone is having a really good grip on all the IESs, which are in FR syllabus and IFRSs, which are in FR syllabus. So just having an excellent grip on these two areas, IES and IFRS, automatically your passing of this paper chances becomes really high because it is not possible for the examiner to ask something which is not relating to IES or IFRS because the core area is all the IESs and all the IFRSs and in addition to that, even the consolidation question has been, now it has changed, but it's still, again, I would say, if you were watching all the lectures, because it's a job of the tutor to change the questions, to change the lectures according to the require, new requirements. So that what we alhamdulillah, already have done. So I would say the same thing, if student can see all the lectures and follows our instruction, inshallah will not be having any issue at all. So FR is not a paper where student, I would say, uh, should face any challenges. If they have seen all the lectures and they have practiced uh, one kit of, I would say, the Kaplan kit, someone has done nicely. So FR will not disturb, seriously. So thank you very much for your inputs. Uh, so as you could see that uh, he's sharing his experience, that FR is not a paper that you should fail. And uh, obviously evident by the past papers also. Uh, the past results also that uh, it's one of those papers that could that is easily manageable okay i'd like to move forward uh, and uh, uh, then i have uh, a question uh, one of the student is asking that how to increase the typing speed uh, zia if you could actually please guide uh, the student a bit because uh, i think uh, one of the student is asking this question that how to increase the typing speed please uh, Sir Kambarza has already mentioned that uh, any student can uh, can 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 speed up typing by practicing more and more questions on the ACC practice platform. Uh, it's not like that the students are like solving their questions in their registers or manually. Uh, in fact, uh, they have to face uh, the, the computer and the uh, and have to attempt paper in a CB format. So one thing they can do uh, do practice all the questions on practice platform and ultimately it will impact and it will result in increasing their typing speed. So 
Sir, thank you very much for the input. I would like to actually ask one question with Dosan Bhai. Uh, there is a student who is asking this question. Can you copy the financial statement data given in the question for APV type question to your own spreadsheet to cut time uh, for putting the performer together? So in short, can you just copy the data in the uh, financial statement data onto the spreadsheet in the exam? Um, the point is that Will it be beneficial for you for the purpose uh, to get some marks? Because examiners particularly mentioned with the examiner report, something copy paste uh, to your spreadsheet or the uh, worksheet. And if it's adding something for them for, to take marks, that's um, that's makes sense now. Otherwise it's uh, not variable for you. And in fact, you will waste your time accordingly. So just copy paste the things, you will not expect to get any marks. For theoretical aspects, yes, to make the sentences, you just copy the things from the case study and adding some more points incorporating, for example, something about the synergy with the AFM exam question. So you have taken some uh, points from the question and adding some uh, value points to get the marks. So that makes sense. Otherwise, examiner particularly mentioned adding uh, copy paste the things that's not value for the student. That's the point. So, thank you very much. One more thing that I would like to add up here is that uh, in the examination, you get two types of uh, things like financial statement data is given in exhibit. And usually the exhibit that it is given in is in the form of a spreadsheet. So from there, you could copy into the response option of a spreadsheet. But uh, obviously, if there is a data which is given in the PDF type of exhibit, then you cannot just copy it, right? So that's something that you would have to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, there are these other uh, papers also and the other past rates also that is given in here. Uh, we're going to come back to it. I think you all have had a glance of it and we're going to start discussing a few more things, but I think it's very important to go about uh, with the question and answers because I do know that a lot of the students, they have got questions in mind and they would like to ask those questions. So, uh, so basically, uh, I would like to, in fact, um, usually uh, we start off from the alphabet A uh, so that we keep on asking the question. So I would allow each one of you to unmute yourself also in case if you would like to. I've got uh, uh, the student Amina Mohsen. Amina, would you like to ask anything? Any questions if you have? Uh, you could unmute yourself also and you could type it out, whatever that suits you. Okay, Fatina, we can, we'll, we're just going to come back to the SBL uh, in a while. Uh, we have noted down your message. Yes, Vijay, that's what uh, we have explained. I mean, like myself and Hussain Kazi, that's what we have explained. Okay, I'm not able to see anything from Amina. Okay, we have got somebody, your name is A00. I'm sorry, I don't know what's your... Uh, Full name A double O is what I can see. Uh, do you have any questions? You can unmute yourself also. You can type out whatever that suits you. Okay, I've got next uh, Bipin KC. Bipin KC, uh, you have any questions to ask? Okay, uh, so A, O, O, uh, okay, Bibin, we have noted down, thank you. Okay, I've got two students, one of them is Brenda. <clears throat> You're asking that, um, in fact, uh, three students were asking for APM. One of them is Brenda, I got 43 in uh, first sitting. I'm not sure uh, where the problem is and how should I study. Okay, Brenda, what happens is that, let me just guide you. <clears throat> the basic problem with the APM is, the application, you don't know how to apply. You don't know how to answer the question. So uh, we, what I would recommend you to do is that uh, we are offering a flat 50% off for all the recent students, those who have failed a paper. If you have studied with us or if you have not studied with us, 
you can still avail this 50% offer uh, for the reset. You can enroll with us and we, the, the, the course that we are providing, it would include the, the lectures, it would include live classes, it would include assignments, it would include the feedbacks on assignments, mock examinations, mock feedbacks. So there are many things that you can get. And plus for those of you who are unable to afford because of any specific financial reasons, you could also explain your circumstances and you could still benefit uh, through us, uh, through the lectures and through other support. Uh, A00, when is the APM classes is starting? Uh, we are gonna have a post result session, inshallah this week, and you will be updated about it. Uh, Kavya Kakar, how to do APM differently at pass AFM today. Mashallah, congratulations. We'll be sitting for APM in September. I've been scoring this, 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 okay. Uh, again, I would recommend you to come and join me for the APM. Inshallah, you'll feel the difference. I am I am, I'm having multiple students who have failed on multiple occasions. And uh, I was surprised to see that they don't know how to answer the question. They still don't know what is the examiner asking. So what I would recommend you to do is that come and join us. Inshallah, you would benefit a lot uh, by getting the feedbacks through the answers that you type out. Okay, I've got Eric T. Pooja. Uh, Brenda, yes, we'll share everything uh, with you people. Okay, Eric, I think you were asking a question earlier also. I'm sorry to have not been able to answer your questions earlier. You're asking if the FR classes are in English. Yes, we are doing FR in English. Uh, Eric, you had any other question? Okay, how can I get past paper to practice? Uh, Zia, if you could add up, please. How can you get past papers to practice, Eric? Uh, anyone can have uh, past papers by by visiting ACC Global because all of the past papers are available in uh, in CB form. Uh, furthermore, um, I would also be sharing a link with the student, and uh, so he or he or she can get the past papers like for ten to fifteen years. Uh, after after today's session, I, I will be sharing the link. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Fatina. Uh... Uh, we, Fatina is having a question that can you please provide brief guidance for SBL as I failed it multiple times. Uh, okay. Uh, if any of the tutor could actually add up for this uh, 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 for this question of SBL by Fatina uh, because uh, unfortunately uh, 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 Sakashif could not join in uh, due to some commitment. So if anyone could please volunteer for it. Hussain Bhai if you could or uh, Munir, if you could. With respect to the SBR question? SBL, I mean, she she has a SBL. I know uh, we, we, we're missing out Kaja by here. So if you could just uh, guide basically, uh, it's it's failing SBL again and again. That's what she's asking for. Munir, why can you please? <laughs> Uh, okay, sir. My uh, my humble take on this is uh, that since SBL uh, SBL again is uh, a conceptual paper, but it requires a very professional and mature writing skills. Uh, and this is the paper which I I personally believe prepares you for the coming professional papers like APM and AAA and even AFM, as said, as, as Hussain Kali said, that a major chunk is now drafting based. So obviously there's a lot of content to study. There is a lot of, there are lots of areas to work hard and there is a lot of practice again involved in SBL paper because it's, it's, it's a complete case study paper, 100 marks case study. So the more you practice, the more you are able to get hand on what is being asked by the examiner and again get your mock mark by the relevant tutor the feedback which you will be getting on sbl counts a lot see your expressions the way you explain the way you link it with the current trends the current trends are particularly very important when it comes to sbl okay because all the current environment economic, be it economic environment, be it comparative environment, be it social environment. So everything is being intermingled when it comes to SBL. So again, your knowledge, the knowledge of current affairs, what's going on in the environment, what's going on uh, in the world, 
it matters a lot. So have your hands on to the all the knowledge based aspects as as Sir Hussain Kazi highlighted. A study hub is now available for you. Get hold on that knowledge. Lots and lots of examples. Lots and lots of practice material. Time bound practice material. The more you practice, the more refined you will be getting in your uh, explanation skills, drafting skills. And I'm very much hopeful that you will, inshallah, pass this paper. Thank you very much, Munir, for the input. Uh, one more thing that I would like to add up for the SBL, the Strategic Business Leader. As you know that for the SBL, uh, there is a one single case study that you have to handle. And now there is a pre-seen material also that is going to be made available to you. So just make sure, just make sure that uh, you go through the relevant uh, practice because it's very important to practice the case study in advance because if you are just gonna get the knowledge and practice the old P3 papers, it's not gonna work out. Just make sure that you practice the relevant case studies. That's, that's something that's important. Uh, okay, there are a few questions pertaining to the SBR. Um, and uh, I would like to answer a few things and then I would ask uh, Hussain Bai to add up a few things. Uh, basically for the SBR, there is a change to the way the examiner is going to be examining the SBR paper. Uh, the question number one is now going to have a situation where you would be given, you would be given a, a spreadsheet and you would be probably having a trial balance to complete You'd be probably having a financial statements to complete. So you would probably be uh, going back to those uh, time periods where in the SBR, you have to actually prepare some aspects of financial statement. Because recently, for the last uh, three years, the SBR papers, question number one, majorly focused on discussion, discussion, discussion. But now they have reverted back again to the computational aspects. So you would be drafting it. And the questions on the ACCA website, the practice platform, they have been amended uh, to reflect them. I mean, like some of the recent questions that have been added up, they have been amended to reflect that. But uh, in addition to this, um, the um, ACCA, um, uh, 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 I mean, like ACCA has also amended the question on the recently introduced ACCA study hub also. Uh, for Osman Salim, uh, 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 you are facing time management issues. Okay, I'd ask Hussain Bhai to answer this. Hussain Bhai is basically suggesting that he's got uh, late 40s marks in the SPR for four or five attempts. And, um, and uh, unfortunately, he's facing a time management issue. So if you could just guide him with respect to SBR time management. Okay, thank you, uh, Lukman Bhai. Um, number one, I'm, I wanted to add one more thing related to the practice material with the new changes. So uh, ACCA has uh, uh, already <clears throat> incorporated with the ACCA CB platform, the two uh, mock, sorry, it's not the mock, it's a- Specimen, a specimen. It, yes, a specimen, yes, a specimen the exams. So including question number one, reflection of, in uh, the question number one, pre-populated uh, material of 10 to 14 marks. Examiner will ask about 10 to 14 marks, some calculation based. So ACC also mentioned a document where highlighted uh, the point that what is the scope of a question that the examiner would examine accordingly. And in fact, uh, you can coordinate with the uh, Excriber management. Excriber management will share a document, a comprehensive document accordingly to share you with, uh, what are the changes that's made by the ACCA. Furthermore, as mentioned by the Lukman Bhai, uh, the new material of the ACCA, ACCA Education Hub material, having the practice kit as well. So that practice kit, I think so that uh, four to five questions already uh, available uh, that reflect that particular changes. So you will be able to uh, catch six to eight questions, including ACC specimen plus ACC practice platform. That's good enough numbers because total number of attempts available uh, for the ACC pass exam is it's maximum 11 or 12. So out of that, you have seven to eight papers. So that will be enough to get the confidence. So well, thank that you so much. Yeah. 
Number two, thanks for this. Uh, thank you. Please continue. Sorry. <laughs> so the second point is that um, the failure of the examiner examination point. That's uh, something about 49, 47, 48, 49. So Mohammed Ismat, the first very very important thing that you you don't have any concept. You are not doing any conceptual mistake with the paper because you. Uh, your result is about 45 plus marks so actually the day of exam you are not performing up to the mark and the main reason is about the time management and that is also the your question that said i am facing the time management but the issue is that how to handle that particular time management two important things i wanted to highlight the first thing is that normally students not preparing the SBR studies with the balance approach. So what does that mean? Once again, the balance approach. Balance approach means ACC SBR exam, it's not about only accounting standard. That's why the paper name, it's not AFR, double uh, advanced financial reporting. The paper is SBR. That means the syllabus includes major accounting standard that reflects 60% of the paper. If, if you just observe any paper, but 60% IFRS, 7 to 9% ethics, 10 to 11% conceptual framework, rest of the 20% about performance measurement, investor perspective and current developments. So you have to balance your studies accordingly. That is the first thing. If your marker observed that point that you only prepared or majorly prepared only the um, accounting standard, that is the main reason that examiner will not allow to uh, pass the exam. So balance study approach, that is the most important thing. And I must say that is the right direction. Number two, as Munir Bhai said, Kambar, Sir Kambar said, and Lukman Bhai as well, all the tutors practice, practice the things accordingly. We teachers only provide the guidance to support you. But the day of the examination, you need to attempt. For that reason, you have to practice your exam questions in the exam simulation manner. Uh, Look, Bambi, majority of the students uh, says that, sir, we do practice. But if you ask them, do you practice the question according to exam simulation? They reply that, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Not only practicing the question is the solution. The solution is that simulate the exam question for example if teacher suggests you that there are four consolidation questions three have done with the lectures one is your part now what you should do open the system shut down the door and don't forget to shut down your cell phones shut down the cell phones shut down the doors open the system and practice start practice for example for any 25 marks question you have 45 minutes so attempt the question within 45 minutes and evaluate your position. And the best thing is that share the question with the teachers, any particular tutor, and then take the response that what the mistake you are doing. And last point, either AFM, either SBR or any of the ex professional exams must have to read latest at least two examiner report where you will identify what was the expectation of the examiner and what the students have done that was and identify the gap and catch these assets that we will not as a student uh, make that particular mistake in the examination. So that's the point you will be with these guidelines do the questions or do the papers in this manner. Inshallah, you will be able to qualify the exam. Sir, thank you very much for your very valuable input. Um, uh, thank you very much for this. Um, next, we have got, uh, in fact, there are different questions uh, that are there. Uh, okay, Sara Malik is asking, Sara, are all the lectures pre-recorded or live? Uh, okay, uh, we, we offer a blended solution. That is, uh, when you enroll with us, you get the recorded lectures. Plus the tutors, they have got live sessions usually once a week, twice a week, thrice a week, depending upon the tutor's preference. 
plus in addition to this uh, we have got the exam revision sessions which are live sessions uh, in the last month before the examination and there is one exception which is the triple a by munir shafi he is doing it 100% live this session so that's where the exception is but the rest is uh, pre recorded uh, in fact it's a blended course which is pre recorded plus live sessions uh, as per the uh, requirements of the tutor uh, next I have got, uh, okay, there are many students. Uh, Hassan Kamara, if you've got anything, you can ask. Hussain Pirwani, Ibrahim John Kanu. Uh, okay. Okay, yes, we have the SBR WhatsApp group. We'll share the links with you people uh, after the session. Um, okay, I had one of the questions from uh, Ikra. Ikra uh, tips for APM field at 49. Ikra, I know about this. I read your message in the morning. I am, I mean, like, um, it's very unfortunate. And I think that um, a lot of students, a lot of people would say that you may have to really go for the uh, review. Uh, so ultimately, you will end up uh, wasting your money if you would go for the review because if a student has gotten 49, his scripts are already reviewed multiple times just to make sure that they're able to grant them one or one extra marks, one grace mark to make them reach the 50 level. So now uh, what I would suggest is that don't give up. I know it's very, very demotivating because uh, failing at 49, especially when you've got the last paper to qualify, uh, uh, it's like... Uh, it's like, uh, it's like basically a waste of time, waste of money. And at the same time, the motivation uh, reduces also. So what I would actually suggest to you is that uh, just don't give up. Uh, it's just the last paper that you have to do. Just try to practice more and more questions. Uh, keep submitting your scripts to me, inshallah. I'll just keep on marking them. We'll keep on giving feedbacks to you. Uh, yes, Pratik, I'm just going to come to you. Uh, Ikra, so just don't worry about it. Inshallah, you will get okay. Okay, I've got Isatu Bangura. If there is any question, you can also ask Isatu. Uh, Kawa Kakar, you were asking for APM. I think I've already told you that APM is going to be, uh, I mean, like the post results sessions are going to start very soon. You'll be updated about it. Lee Zuba, if you have got any question, you can ask. Loni, I think you've been asking for the SBR group. So let's share the SBR group. Okay, Danish, I think you asked for the SBL. There was another student who asked for the SBL. Just to add up for the SBL, uh, it says that 100% course content should be covered up. That's number one. Number two point is that uh, you should try to practice as many case studies as possible. Usman Salim, I think you've already asked. Pratik, okay, you wanna ask for double A. Pratik, any specific thing you wanna ask for double A? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Sir, okay. I just want to ask a few things regarding double A. Like, uh, it's it will going to be my second attempt for double A. Uh, earlier I scored forty five. So uh -huh. I just want to ask, like, but is there any particular keywords that we need to write in the answers, or is it our uh, la uh, like uh, English uh, pr proficiency in the exam that will leads us to score fifty marks? I just want that basic guidance. How to draft our answers? Okay, now you see what happens is that uh, if you go for the double A paper, you know it's a very predictive paper where you know that there is going to be 30 marks for the MCQs and then you've got 70 marks. So for those 70 marks, you know that uh, there are uh, topics like internal control, there's a topic like uh, risk management. So you, you know in advance that what are the areas that are probably, and then you've got the substantive procedures. So you already know that what areas are going to be examined. Now, it's not an English language paper, it's an auditing paper. So more important thing is to use the audit terminologies rather than focusing on your English, see? So what I would recommend is that try to practice the questions in a manner that you are able to actually demonstrate the audit terminologies. That's the most important aspect. So try to demonstrate the auditing terminology. That's, that's what is gonna lead you towards the passing of this specific paper. Sure. Sure. Uh, the one more doubt I have. Yeah, yeah, please, please go ahead. 
uh, actually sir today i got my tax uh, result so i scored mm -hmm. 48 in tax so should i need to go for the rechecking or uh, no it's not it's it just, just going to be waste of time just what i said to ikra yeah. you don't have to do it i mean like it's just going to be waste of time because waste of time and waste of money uh, the reason being that uh, you don't get a pass even people at 49 don't get a pass so how can a person at 48 get a pass because it's already reviewed several times it just does not uh, get published uh, like that so the only thing that i would suggest is that uh, start uh, investing more time into practicing the paper and um, start reading the technical articles of the examiner that's what is going to take you to okay sir sure thank you sir thank you for your time and guidance thank you so much sir most welcome okay satu bangura i have taken the pm exam several times at the 49 uh, fail mark twice now can you advise me what step to take about that is quite unfortunate uh, but i would suggest that uh, my experience for the pm suggests that the students fail the pm paper because they don't practice the theoretical aspect they just practice the uh they just practice the computations 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 plus in addition to this the theoretical aspects tested in the mcqs is also very important so just make sure that you practice the mcq theoretical areas also mark out your mistakes try to explain to yourself that what was the mistake why am i making that mistake that's that's an important okay there are other people tafatswa sumbul khwaja saidu i think you had a time management thing and that was answered by husain qazi um so okay is are there any other questions that any one of you have are there any other uh, questions Yes. sir is students are more interested in knowing uh, about uh, course registrations and what we are offering as uh, many of these students were asking the same question so i also provided the whatsapp number for communication but i would appreciate if you please uh, highlight our offerings uh, so students may come to know okay thank you very much uh, so basically uh, see what happens is that this is what we offer uh, i mean like we have got uh, three products one of them is acc extensive courses one of them is a fast track and one of them is a qbr so question based revision when we talk about the fast track course uh, when we talk about extensive course it's a complete course with a 100% curriculum covered up uh, when we talk about the fast track course the fast track course has got around 50% syllabus covered up uh, but that includes the core areas third we have got a product which is called qbr where only examination questions are covered up so depending upon that uh, what is what what is your status how many times have you attempted the paper how many times have you gone through the subject you could actually suit that you could actually adapt that now um these offerings which i have actually written in front of you so let me just focus specifically on these things which is assignments along with feedback and mock exams and mock debriefs we have got uh, tutor associates on board these tutor associates are going to uh, mark give you feedbacks on the scripts that you are going to submit and you will be getting the active feedbacks on them plus in addition to this uh, the mock examinations would be marked by myself and the other faculty members they are going to mark the mock examinations by themselves and give you detailed feedback so this is something that we are offering and a special recent discount of flat 50% for any paper that you have failed for any paper that you have failed there is a 50% flat discount plus we are also accepting the early enrollments for december and we are offering a 30% discount for the early enrollments for december so if anyone would like to enroll for december from now they are also most welcome to do it uh before i go back uh, let me just open the list of our faculty members you could see that we have got same courses by multiple tutors so that gives you the flexibility that you are studying at the same platform and you are actually uh, doing it there uh, there's there are going to be revision sessions uh, so is are to they are going to be revision sessions okay uh, uh kambar uh, sir if if there is something that uh, you could uh, you would like to specifically add up uh to the student queries and from the questions that you have seen till now 
So uh, from the questions, uh, the key takeaways, probably all of the key takeaways are already discussed, but just to sum up in a point form. So first of all, practice as much as you can. So don't like, uh, at times, you know, very interestingly, uh, students do approach me like there are, for example, I'm just quoting an example. Let's suppose there are 100 questions in the exam kit. Sir, is it fine that we attempt 60 questions from the exam kit? So my always view is, if you are asking me, is it fine? So it means in the back of your heart, you also realize like it's not fine to attempt 60 questions out of 100 in the exam. You just want to transfer if anything goes bad with respect to result on the teacher. Like, sir, we, we, we take the confirmation from you of doing 60 questions. We did 60 questions after your permission and, and look what happened. So it's like... You want to transfer your burden onto the teacher. So that's why you are asking. So whether we are supposed to read the book or not, why, why is it a question? It's like, you know, it, it has to be read. That's why you are asking and you don't want to read it. You want to transfer your chances of th going things negative onto the tutor. Same thing goes for the uh, exam kit. Same thing goes for the practice. Sir, is it mandatory to do practice on the CB practice platform? Why is it a question? Like the things which you are trying to avoid, you guys normally ask such things. Sorry if I'm uh, like being blunt, but these are the hard realities we, which we must be aware of. So please don't try to find the shorter routes or the escape routes from your studies to give a proper time. If you give a proper time to your studies, to the practice, to your lectures, Nobody can stop you from passing the exam. Nobody. But if you, and, and obviously one thing which I, I normally noticed is about 46, 47, 48, 49 marks. So this is basically like Sarusen said, and like you said, Lukman, it's, it's not about the tech, lacking of technical knowledge. It's basically lacking of the soft skills. For the soft skills, uh, do have a look properly from on the examiner report do have a look from the exam kit on the examiner comments do look for your teacher last uh, practice to pass webinars kind of videos these kind of sessions would support you specifically in developing your soft skills regarding how to attempt the paper so technical knowledge how to attempt the paper technical knowledge practice more do cover from your textbook as much as you can, especially the examples part and especially in the calculative papers. So that's it from my side uh, at the sir, moment. Sir, thank you very much for the valuable additions. And uh, they, they are, I mean, like uh, very valuable because it's all the experience that's talking. Uh, years of experience of teaching, years of experience of dealing with different, different situations, different, different students. So thank you very much, uh, sir, for this. Uh, if there is anything else, uh, Zia, if you would like to add up anything uh, to the whole thing that we have actually discussed. Okay, Lizuba, uh, you have got a question about AAA. I think that, uh, I think there is only one thing which is, um, in fact, two, three things for the AAA. One of them is that make sure that your accounting standard knowledge is intact. The second thing is that uh, just make sure that uh, you practice the answers and just compare your answer with the examiner's marking scheme. Just to see that you're highlighting the key pointers, important pointers. That's that's the most important thing. And lastly, just make sure that you don't overrun. I mean, like, like manage the time because a lot of the students they end up spending two hours on the question number one in AAA examination on a lot of occasions. So just make sure that you're not doing it. That's that's the important aspect. So guys, uh, thank you very much, all of you for uh, joining in. Thank you very much for the time. I hope that you had enjoyed the session. Uh, just in case that uh, if you have missed out, uh, there is basically a contact number of Scriber Academy. You could uh, get in touch with the Scriber Academy's admin. They're going to take you through the process of registrations for the course. Plus, in addition to this, uh, we would be having uh, these uh, 
uh, different uh, subject wise orientations how to pass sessions that's also that is going to be conducted very soon inshallah so uh, just in case if any one of you would like to have any questions anything that you would like to discuss you are most welcome to get in touch with you with us and we'll be happy to help so thank you very much again all of you uh, we're going to wait uh, just uh, for two more minutes to see if there are any questions so that we could answer or else we'll conclude the session for today uh, if we start Okay, Amina Mohsin, the time is still enough. If you are dedicated, say you give average three hours a day, two and a half hours a day, you'll be able to do it. Okay, anyone, any other question, please? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you for joining in. Uh, thank you all the faculty members for being there. See you inshallah later on. And uh, I hope the session was valuable to all of you. Thank you. Okay, Robin Bhatrai failed in APM with 46. Any suggestions? Yeah. Yes, simple suggestion. Uh, just uh, make sure that uh, you cover the theoretical aspects. That's number one. Number two is that practice on the CV platform. That's That's more important. Like practice on the CV platform because if you're not practicing the questions on CV platform, you would struggle in the examination. Also, you can get in touch with us. We're going to take you through. Yes, thank you, Isato. Thank you.